The innovation in training for, for nuclear power stations is just getting more and more interesting. What drives this process for you and what makes it so important? In fact, we, we use conventional tools, of course, that reproduce the equipment we have on the plant. We have also simulators that reproduce the control room, fundamental for the training of operators. But beside all these uh, equipments, new tools like uh, e-learning, serious games, are very useful to train a lot of people at distance. They can be trained on their plant. They don't need to come always on, on a training center. And that in this, this way, it is very useful. And uh, in terms of uh, South Africa and looking at the, the South African nuclear new build program, how would you adapt to the South African uh, needs? In fact, for any new project, we adapt on the need of the, of the country. In terms of language, we developed a, a simulator and a training center that we operate in English. And regarding the needs or distance learning, it depends really on what is already existing in the country. And this kind of thing is only for, for nuclear operators? No, we train uh, for all the EDF uh, personnel, so hydro generation, conventional plants, so it's applicable to any new project, in fact, or any uh, operator. Looking at Kuburg, where you once actually worked, what are the strengths of Kuburg and how could the, the, the experiences there help South Africa going forward if it went into the nuclear build program? Kuburg is a nuclear plant operated for several years already. And so, of course, all what was developed for Kuburg can be developed for any new program. And uh, your, your experiences at Kuburg, what kind of, what did you see there? What, what was the, the learning outcomes? And did you actually learn anything from Kuburg? I learned a lot from Kuburg and uh, on the French fleet, in fact, because many of the questions from Kuburg questioned what we do in France. And it was very interesting to have these uh, exchanges between both uh, operators, in fact. You've been in the industry for 30 years. What has been the biggest change you've seen in the industry? I think the, the biggest change in the nuclear industry is uh, taking into account the nuclear culture and the importance of this nuclear culture for any operator. And then finally, um, if, you, if you look at, at nuclear safety and the, and the whole um, kind of feeling of that, that nuclear is, is really unsafe and, and, and a threat to the world, and you look at the amount of training that goes on here, what kind of message do you have? Whatever you are doing, during your activity, operating, maintaining the plant, training people, the overriding priority is nuclear safety. You, you always have to have that in mind when you are doing something, whatever the activity.